Now we are gonna practice using layer masks. So let's go into Photoshop and do it. It's this picture here that I want. I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna drop it on top of the other picture like that. Now by default, it will snap into place. Now the first thing that I need to do is line these pictures up. Now that's really easy when you're using layers because you can change the opacity of the layer. And you do that quite simply by coming down to opacity here in the layers palette, clicking on this arrow and pulling it down like that to about roughly 50%. And then I'm gonna make sure I'm on the move tool at the top here. And I'm basically going to move and get this nose properly lined up just like that. And now it's overlaid very nicely and I'm going to bring the opacity of this layer back to 100%. So now I need to add a mask to this image because effectively all I'm going to do is hide these areas of the hand to reveal the eye underneath. Simple as that really. So let's come down to the add layer mask icon here and click on it. Make sure that the mask is selected obviously. Come over to the brush tool, make sure I've got black as my color selected Take the opacity down, yeah, that'll do. Right click on the screen, make sure your hardness is down to zero. And then quite simply, paint over the hands where you want the eyes to shine through. It's as simple as that, really. Now, don't forget all you've done is hide the image. You haven't uh, erased it, you've hid it. So if I now flick back to the color white, I can then come back to the image, I can paint on it again, which will reveal the, the hand image here and give me a bit more control. We can refine that as much as we want to, but that's about right. I'm gonna grab the crop tool, which is over in your toolbox, and I'm gonna to drag the top down like that, the bottom up like this. I'm gonna pull these in and I'm gonna click the tick to apply it. And there you go, it's as simple as that. You know, it's a really, really simple task to do.